Yo, what's going on, G-Dot family? It's your boy, G-Dot TZ, back with another VZ. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got a weirdo trying to kidnap a kid. I hope they beat your dumb, ugly ass for trying to do that weird ass shit. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Guabo with G-Dot, and Twitter, Guabo with G-Dot. Let's get it. On April 29th, 2022, an abduction attempt took place at a bus stop while a 16-year-old girl was waiting to be picked up by the bus to go to school. A surveillance video captured a man parking his vehicle and approaching the girl. He forcibly took her phone and grappled her in an attempt to drag her to his car while Weird. she clung desperately to a nearby fence, Weird. resisting his efforts. Weird. In an effort to lure her, the man held out her phone only to throw it at her when he realized she could not be subdued. The girl managed to escape by running onto the bus as the assailant fled in a white Ford Mustang. A witness provided a description of both the vehicle and the suspect, which later led to police locating the car. That shit just weird though, I ain't gonna lie bro. If I ever, I swear I hope that shit never happens to my kids bro, cause if that ever happened, I get a call, they better hope they find him before I do, okay? The police better hope they find him before I do, cause if I find him, it's gonna be a murder at a gas station oh, yeah. a few hours after the incident. We gotta talk to you, you got an idea on you? Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you in a second. Someone's gonna come and talk to you here and explain everything's going on. You got an ID? All right. You put your ID out, my man? Yeah, ID, sir? Well, someone's gonna come talk to you. It's... I'm going to jail? No. You got your ID on? Huh? No. Oh, you'd be out. You'd be out of the car in handcuffs right now if you were my man. Oh. Yo, fat ass going to jail. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, I am. You Damn, pedo. Yes. Okay. All right. Just relax, my man. It'll all be. Uh, yeah, relax. You're gonna be on the cell block real soon. All right. It doesn't even involve you. So relax. All right. Someone's gonna come up and talk to talk to them. Oh, so I didn't do anything? No. What the, I'm not even coming here. What? He'll, he'll, he's coming up. He's talking to somebody right now. You can probably see him in your mirror. See him back there? He'll come talk to you in one second. Yeah, you gonna talk to your fat ass ugly boy. Fat old boy. <laughs> your first name, what's your first name, De'Aaron? First name is ugly. Last name, boy. De'Aaron Jackson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we they, they wanted us to stop the car so they could talk to. So relax. It's more of a not you. Oh no. Yeah. Right. Here's a driver if you need any. I already got written down and stuff. What's up, man? Why don't we get him? So, why don't we get them separated? Hey, De'Aaron, you want to come back and sit in my car and he can talk to you in private? I'm in trouble? No. If you're, like I said, my man, if you're in trouble, we already grabbed you out of the car. Yeah, yo, fat ass in trouble. Fat, ugly, slop. Make sure you got no guns on you. Can you fix right, this way? Right. He's going to come talk to you. Let you know he's the detective and he's a sergeant, so right. he'll be able to answer any questions you got, okay? I'll get my keys out my phone. Your, your car's fine, you know, man. Ain't no one gonna fuck with your shit. Yeah, we'll learn. Yeah. Just relax. He'll talk. You might want to know a broke ass cowboy. Playing some game or something with some people. Yeah, let's see back here. Look, your passenger. You, in the game. you know him that well? Yeah, that's my friend. Right. Uh, he's gonna, he wants to talk to her. Is it her or him? What is it? Trying. Well, she identify as her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude or insensitive. Oh, yeah. I just didn't know which way to go with it. And there's no easy That's way That's how talk. you know that nigga weirdo. He got an NBA Youngboy goddamn hoodie. It's not even like a, a, the logo. It's you literally got NBA Youngboy on your hoodie. That's how you know you're a weird ass. Weird. I smack the shit out your ass, boy. About it. Just have a seat and he'll come, he'll come talk to you. He wants to talk to her. Something's going on with her. I ain't mad at yeah, I gotta do all this? Yeah. Put your feet in. I'll roll the windows down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in the car with you and hang out. You want that out of your way? Yeah. Just slide that over there, man. Once he talks to her, I'm sure he'll come back, talk to you, and, and 
the main issue is her. So you you can relax, man. I ain't bullshitting you. The main thing is her. So that's why I think he just. Yeah, no. It, it, the they gotta talk to him, the her. Is her. Her, him. So. The, it, Nigga. That's why he's talking to her first. Just hell wrong, you jabroni. Yeah, so I mean, just just relax. Shut up, little boy. I can tell by the look on your face. You're like, what the fuck? Just, you, what the cool. freak? If, if there was Stop cursing so damn up. Handcuffed you know and everything else. You know what I mean? So just relax. It's, Slime it's life. On her. Yeah, relax. Beard, man. It's, you can see all the focus is on, on her. So just relax, man. You just had the wrong person in your car. You know what I mean? So... I appreciate you cooperating. Uh, you know, people swoop down on me. I'd be like, "What the fuck, too?" What the freak? Stop all that no, yapping. I don't think so I'll be honest. I don't think anyone's going to jail. Like, well, he, he's a detective, and I think she's saying something. So I think it. He, I don't know. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> if I was in a car and a cop swooped in on me like that, I'd be, my heart would be beating pretty good too, man. Beating on my chest like, <laughs> yeah, no, I slap. Think, I think it's, you got what, Zach with me. I think it's, slap for real. They'll talk to you. Hey, De'Aaron, yeah. when all this is over with my man, I'd be done with, you know what I mean? Really? I, I'm coming, nice. I'm coming into five minutes of your life, my man. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like it. When did you get out? Four days ago. And look where you're at already. So, you know what I mean? Oh, you just got out of jail, too? I'm going to be 30. So, I, I think it's time to make a little bit better decisions. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, I think she's trying to get you in trouble. The detective arrived and formally informed the man of his Miranda rights. The man adamantly denied being present at the bus stop and refused any further interrogation. However, the entire encounter was captured on camera. Revealing a different truth. Oh, does shit. he have like a? Does he do like some off the wall crazy shit? Or just, have you got a lighter? Uh, oh, no. right. I got down there. Light in the car right here. What the fuck? I'll let you know. I'm gonna make sure it's okay with my son. He wants to talk to you, but we don't want him to talk to you. What we have on him from this morning, after he left your house, you said between six and six thirty. Mm -hmm. Um, he drove down Arlington to Neville, parked his car on Neville, walked up to the bus stop at the corner of Arlington and Neville. There was a 16-year-old girl that was standing there waiting for the bus to go to school. Right. He kind of stood around, pretending like he was waiting for the bus for a couple minutes, and he grabbed her and tried to drag her back to his car. She grabbed onto the fence there, fought him off. <laughs> and, uh, she started screaming, here comes the bus. He had her phone, he threw her phone at her, and took off running, got in his car and took off. What? So I don't know if he was going to sexually assault her, or if he was going to rape her. I don't know what his intentions were, but that's what he did. This and the whole thing's caught on this. So, can you tell me <coughs> nature? I mean, is, is it something that... Oh, that's not something that I would expect him to do, and that's not something he... I know him to do. Like, I, I mean, we are still getting to know each other, so I mean, if people show that you probably want to show them. Yeah. I'm not too, I'm still getting a feeling now, you know, but. Okay, so he didn't say about other than going to Minuteman. Did he, he say he went to Minuteman? He, 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 he was going to go there, and he didn't say he did. He just said he was going to go there. And we're kind of like in this thing where I'm trying not to have him have the photo of me, and I'm trying not to have the photo of him, so I pretty much don't ask too many questions, you know, I just, you know, and kind of, you know, as long as it's respectful, I don't really think but we had problems with that in the background, you know. Right. He called me to the time for some of that and I was going to call him to go on set. I'm going to have to pass that. All right. Listen, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you a heads up that the best way to handle things at our age is to be honest. I mean, we're not 15-year-old kids where you try and lie our way out of it. But everything that can be recorded, in this world, man, there's cameras everywhere. Right. So I ain't trying to bullshit you. I'm just telling you, I'm sure you've been to court and you see how things go in court. If you're honest and cool and tell people you fucked up or whatever, it, it, 
goes a lot easier. You know what I mean? Right. Especially nowadays with the, the judges the way they are. The judges ain't playing no more. He does. It's in his wallet. Here, I'm gonna just give you somebody to take with you. Just call me when you can. So both of their ass weird. Take his little weird ass to jail too. Weird. All that shit weird. Hey, don't act silly, my man. But how about here? I gotta put you in cuffs because when we go into county, you have to go in in cuffs. So when you get out, just face that way. I'm not moving, but just face that way. I'm gonna put your hands on your back, all right? The man faced charges of abduction and received a five-year sentence. This verdict was influenced by his breach of probation, which stemmed from earlier convictions related to burglary and weapons offenses. That nigga's a weirdo, man. That nigga's a weirdo, bro. That's some weird-ass shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what the hell wrong with these men and these wannabe men. But that's some weird ass shit, dog. I don't know. I would, I would, I ain't gonna lie. Cops better than me. I would have pistol whipped his ass and threw him in the goddamn lake. Weirdo ass nigga.